uh, this is the skull uh, it's divided in two major parts uh, this is the cranium and this is the face uh, okay so bones of the cranium uh, we have six of them uh, this is the frontal bone uh, these are the two parietal bones right and left uh, parietal bones uh, these are the two temporal bones this the right one and this uh, the left one uh, and this in the back is the occipital bone occipital bone uh, okay so from here uh, we have two bones uh, this is the sphenoid bone it's bat shaped it's like a bat sphenoid sphenoid bone only we have one of that and this is the ethmoid bone ethmoid bone again part of the cranium ethmoid Uh, so now talking about especially bones of the face uh, these are the two uh, zygomatic bones right and left zygomatic uh, these are the two uh, nasal bones two right and left but it seems like one uh, and uh, these are the two maxillae bones uh, the right and left uh, maxillae uh, okay maxillae and, uh, and this is the mandible bone mandible only one of that mandible uh, all of that um, and this is the palatine bones, palatine, uh, this and also this, they are two, okay, uh, these are the palatine bones, um, all right, and uh, this is the vomer bone, uh, vomer, this is the vomer, it's only one, uh, right in the center, this is the vomer, it divides uh, the nose into two parts, um, okay, and uh, uh, this is the uh, lacrimal bone. Lacrimal bone. Uh, this duct over here is called uh, the uh, nasolacrimal duct. Nasolacrimal duct. Okay, so we can use it to identify the lacrimal bone. This is the lacrimal bone. Uh, okay. And again, of course, these are the inferior concave. Uh, this is the skull on the other model. Um, this is the mandible, okay, uh, so if we remove this, uh, most of the remaining is the cranium. Uh, this is all the cranium, see all of that is the cranium, and this is part of the face uh, along with this. Uh, okay, so now uh, talking about the uh, cranium, uh, this is the cranial cavity, okay, this cavity inside here, it's uh, like a, a spherical cavity, it's uh, the uh, cranial cavity, okay, this cavity. And uh, the, the cranial cavity, of course, is surrounded by the bones of the cranium. Uh, and that's what we're going to talk about. The uh, cranial cavity is divided into two major parts. Uh, we can call this the vault of the skull, vault of the skull. And this is the uh, base of the skull, base. Uh, okay, so now talking about the uh, bones uh, of the cranium. Uh, this is the uh, frontal bone, uh, frontal. Wait, let me just... Okay, uh, this is the frontal bone, uh, all the way down here, frontal. Uh, we've got two parietal bones, uh, parietal left one and parietal uh, right one. Okay, and uh, this is the occipital bone, occipital bone, only one of that. Uh, and uh, we've got two uh, temporal bones uh, to the right and to the left, temporal. Uh, okay, and if you look uh, from the inside, uh, we'll see two other bones. Uh, this bad shaped bone is this sphenoid bone. Sphenoid, only one. Sphenoid. And this over here is the ethmoid bone. Ethmoid. Sphenoid and ethmoid. Uh, we can see the ethmoid bone uh, also from here. Uh, these are the middle concha, uh, two of that. Uh, right middle concha, left middle concha. They are called the middle concha and they are part of the ethmoid, which is part of the cranium. Uh, but these two are the inferior concha, uh, they are part of the face. Part of the face. Uh, okay, and uh, this is the vomer bone, it's again part of the face, we'll talk about that. Uh, however, the two uh, superior concha uh, are not visible here, which are also part of the ethmoid. So the superior and middle concha are part of the ethmoid, which is part of the cranium. Uh, now, uh, about the face, bones of the face, uh, we've got the maxilla, 
uh, this huge bony uh, he here uh, this is the uh, maxilla uh, we can regard that as two uh, as cut in the center uh, this is the right maxilla and the left uh, maxilla uh, now these are the two zygomatic bones uh, forming the cheek uh, zygomatic the right one and the left zygomatic bones and uh, these are the two nasal bones two nasal bones cut in the center uh, right and left nasal okay just very small uh, and uh, uh, these are the lacrimal bones to the right and uh, to the left lacrimal they are very small actually we can regard them kind of as part of the maxilla uh, so here is the maxilla uh, to to the behind is lacrimal to the front is nasal all right and here to the front we can see the maxillae bones to the back we can see the right and left palatine bones uh, as we said, this is the vomer bone dividing the nose into two parts, uh, and these are the inferior concave. Uh, this and this inferior concave, but this is also the vomer. See vomer, and these are the middle concave. Uh, this and this, uh, and that's it. Uh, this is the mandible, only one bone as part of the face, uh, and uh, with the temporal bone uh, of the uh, cranium, it uh, forms the temporomandibular joint. Temporomandibular joint, this joint, TM joint, it is a synovial joint. So uh, there's possibility for quite a lot of movement. Uh, but however, all the other joints in the skull uh, are immobile joints and they are called sutures. See, all of them are sutures, they are immobile. Uh, this is a cross section view uh, of the vault of the skull. Uh, so here uh, we can take a look at uh, these small structures here. Uh, this is the suture and uh, this is the bone of the vault of the skull uh, now this is the compact bone uh, to the outside and to the inside uh, so this is called the internal table and this is the external table uh, in between is spongy bone or cancellous bone uh, and again it's the same for this side uh, now all the bone is surrounded by uh, periosteum periosteum and uh, here this is the suture uh, it contains fibrous tissue which is a very hard tough tissue it can it doesn't allow any movement so that's why it's an immobile joint uh, and uh, the fibrous tissue is called uh, sutural ligaments